let's say you're furnishing a house and you want to buy a table. Now, as you can see in this picture, we have a table and you're interested to find out the length of this table. That is this particular part. Now, how do you think you can measure the length of this table? You can measure the length of this table using what is known as a meter scale. Now, in this picture, you will find a meter scale has been depicted. If you look closely, you will see that there are marks starting from 0 and ending at 100. So 0 to 100 centimeters is the length of the meter scale. If you look further, you will find that 0 to 100 centimeters has been divided into smaller parts. Now over here, each part corresponds to a centimeter. So now let's see, with the help of this meter scale, how we can measure the length of the table. First, we take the meter scale and we line it up with the table in a particular manner. How? Care is taken to ensure that the zero mark of the meter scale coincides with the starting point of what we want to measure. In this case, the table. So now let us zoom into this region and find out whether the zero mark is coinciding with the start of the table. So over here we find that the zero mark is indeed coinciding with the starting point of the table. And in this way we have aligned the meter scale. Also take care so that the meter scale completely touches the table. Now in this manner we will be able to measure the length of this table. So let us see what we get the length as. If you reach the other end of the table holding the meter scale, you will find that another mark will coincide with the end of the table. Now consider this picture closely once more. Over here, 64, 65, 66 and all other markings that you see are all centimeters. So this point corresponds to 64 centimeters and this point corresponds to 65 centimeters. Now if you look closely, you will see that the end of the table lies somewhere in between 64 and 65 centimeters. The region in between 64 and 65 centimeters is further divided into 10 equal parts. When a centimeter is divided into 10 equal parts, it means each part corresponds to a millimeter. So let us see how we can measure the accurate length of the table. We find that this is the 64 mark and we start counting forwards. We see that 1, 2, 3, 4, the fifth mark coincides with the end of the table. So that means the length of the table is 64 centimeters plus 0 0.5 centimeters, which means 5 millimeters. This implies that the length is 64.5 centimeters. So thus, using a meter scale, we have successfully found out the length of this table as 64.5 centimeters. Now a fact about the meter scale is that the least count of the meter scale or the minimum distance or the minimum length that can be measured using a meter scale is 1 millimeters which also corresponds to 0 0.1 centimeters as we just saw. This helps us measure objects like the table accurately. Now care should be taken once you are using the meter scale in order to measure the length of any object. Over here you find that a person is viewing the meter scale reading from three different positions, A, B and C. Now if you look closely you will see that all three people have obtained different readings for the same particular object. Now if you notice C has obtained a reading somewhere over here. A has obtained a reading somewhere over here and B has obtained a reading which corresponds to the 50 centimeter mark. Now the truth is if you have to obtain a correct and accurate reading, you will have to see the point where it coincides exactly from the top of it and not from the sides. Because if you see it from the sides as you can clearly see at this point the reading is as if it is less and from this point the reading is as if it is more. So in both these cases, the reading is 
an accurate. If you have to obtain an accurate reading, you have to view it absolutely from the top of where you are measuring. So this is how we use a meter scale in order to measure lengths of different objects.